South Bay family. This is Mondays with Mike. And guess what I came across? This happens to be my high school, high school, all-star baseball uniform. Well, except for the hat, you know, what you expect for 47 years. But, uh, hey, if you can believe it, I was once part of an elite team of players that um, each of us using our talents and, and bond, we developed into a team that had this incredibly successful season, which I'll never ever forget, ever. Um, and there's another season that I'll never ever forget, and it has to do also with a uniform. I happened to be coaching my younger son's soccer team. He was five at the time, and um, this was my second time around coaching because I have an older son. And so by now, I consider myself somewhat of a, a fairly decent coach, and I'm a really good motivator. And so I go into this season with high expectations. Now, you have to understand that uh, sometimes uh, kids at five years old are a little bit timid and it takes a little bit more to uh, break down some of the fears and barriers well anyway uh, through my relationship with these kids and my patience well this propelled us and this team into an amazingly successful season and I'll never ever forget it we never lost a game but who keeps scoring five years old anyway I was able to somehow take these kids at five years old and get them to play a level far above their age limit. And they played with this great enthusiasm and passion. Again, just far above their age level. Well, all of them except one. One little girl. And her name was Leah. I'll never forget her name. I'll never forget Leah. And Leah, she, she wore her soccer uniform to practice. And she came to practice, and she engaged in practice. It looked like she had fun at practice. But um, come game time, uh, Leah shut down. She did absolutely nothing. Come game time, she stood still, hands uh, to her side, and just looked down at the ground. I don't care what was happening around her, the ball could hit her in the feet, literally she would not engage. No how, no way. No amount of uh, cheering, no amount of encouragement could motivate this little girl. And, um, I mean, she may have had the uniform of the soccer player, but hardly the player at all. Now, I'll never forget those kids, and I'll never forget that season, but especially, I'll never forget Leah. Because in the middle of one of those games, when Leah was standing just ever so motionlessly, um, God showed me a picture of myself through this little girl. You see, I had put on the, um, well, the uniform of the Christian. I joined the team, I signed up, you know. I had no problem going to church and, and engaging with the people, but, when it came down to game time, well, that was another story. I kind of stood still. I didn't, I didn't participate. I didn't help my teammates. I didn't contribute to the team. Um, I was motionless. When it came um, time to serve the body or use the gifts that God had blessed me with, well, I froze. I froze. And as I watched Leah on that soccer field during one game, God spoke to my heart very, very clearly, and he said, that's you. You have the uniform on, but you're not in the game. I have been cheering you. I have been encouraging you. I have placed the ball at your feet. Those are the words that rang through my heart and my soul that day. Now, since that day, or um, I have to say, it was a pivotal day in my Christian walk, and it, and it changed me. It, um, it made me uh, 
realize the truth about myself. And so I made a commitment that I no longer wanted to just put on the uniform. I wanted to play. I wanted to be a player. I wanted to, to help my team. And so um, I took on that challenge and I've never looked back. Now, that season with those kids was more successful in more ways than one when I think about it. Not only did uh, God actually motivate me to start playing, but Leah, believe it or not, by the end of the season, she scored a goal. So my words of encouragement for you or words to maybe think about are these. Did you sign up? Did you join the team? Did you put on the uniform? If you did, then God would be on the sideline and he would be saying things like, take the ball, run with it, go to the goal, help out your teammates. Be part of the game. God bless you. Have a great day. Can you believe this still fits? Yeah. Yes. 45 years old. Look at that. It's still fit. Honey, my, my, my shirt, high school, baseball, uniform still fits. Probably could tell I've been working out. God bless you.